Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, so there's been a lot of questions um, coming up about uh, what buses are, kind of what what they're used for, how they're used, why they're used, all that. Um, so I'm briefly just going to explain what they are and all that. So um, buses pretty much are just a, another channel that you can create where you can route the signal from another channel through that to affect it. Um, and this will give you um, a little bit more um, cohesion between your tracks. It will save on CPU. Um, all around, it's kind of a, a good habit to get into. Um, it's not completely necessary. Don't feel like you have to do it. Um, it just helps. It kind of keeps things nice and tidy and cohesive. Um, so let me give you a, a kind of an explanation here on like how to how to do it. Um, so say I've got a synth track. So I've got this synth track here, track three, my distortion. Um, I've got this um, and I want to side chain it to my kick. Um, well, I'm eventually gonna have a bunch of synths coming in and I want them all to be side chained. Instead of having to throw on a individual um, compressor onto each and every track to sidechain it, I can create a bus, um, which I'll do here. So watch, I'm going to create a bus here. I'm going to do bus three. And now it creates this right here. And I'm going to call this sidechain. Now this bus, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw on a compressor and... I'm going to set it up to side chain to my kick. So my kick and my snare are right here on this, what I call my fat fader. Um, I'll just call them drums for you. So drums. So I've got my drums coming right here and I'm gonna side chain, I'm gonna make a side chain bus that is going to side chain to this drum uh, bus. So bus one is that. So I'm gonna side chain it to bus one. Um, so let's do this. Okay. So now I've got a compressor, a compressor on this bus. Now my distorted synth right here is now being routed through this bus, my sidechain bus, and it's now being sidechained to my drums. Um, now, if I, um, now if I want to make a new track and I want another synth, so I'm going to make a new track here and I want another silent track. So I'm going to put that in there. And now I want this as well to be side chained to my kick. So instead of having to throw on a compressor onto this track, I will just send this to bus three. And this little knob right here next to the bus is the amount of signal that's being sent to that. Um, and in Logic, if you do option and click it, it just puts it to zero. Um, and zero is what they call unity gain, um, which just means that it's um, sending a pretty much just like, I don't really know how to explain that. It's kind of just sending a normal amount of signal over there. Um, if you want it to be affected less, you can bring that down. If you want it to be affected more, you bring it above that. So zero is kind of your middle point. Um, and anything below that's going to send less signal. Anything above that's going to send more. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. Um, so yeah, so now both this channel, my dirty distortion and this new instrument I created, um, they are both now being side chained to my kick. Um, now say that I wanted both of these tracks to have reverb on them. Well, instead, again, instead of having to put a individual reverb on each channel, 
um, I can go over to this bus and throw a reverb on it. And now they're both going to have reverb. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. Um, it's fairly easy. Um, and it's just kind of a, it's, it's, for most people, it's a way to save CPU. So instead of having your computer running 32 tracks that have a reverb plugin on 20 of those tracks, you put one reverb plugin on a bus and then everything's being sent to that. Um, so it just kind of saves on CPU and whatnot. So hopefully that clears things up a little bit. Hopefully that explains it. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave me some comments. Um, I'm more than happy to answer questions. Um, hopefully that helps you out. I'll talk to you guys later.